Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going over my entire setup where I work, game, and create. I'll leave a link to everything I mentioned in the description below. A lot of the items that I talk about in this video I've already reviewed on my channel. So if something catches your eye, definitely check it out. But without further delay, here's my desk setup. The foundation to any setup is the desk itself. My autonomous Smart Desk Pro frame is paired with an IKEA countertop measuring 74 inches by 26 inches. The sit-stand desk is a staple in my workflow because, believe it or not, I get tired from sitting. The desk gives me relief when those long work sessions feel like they never end. The IKEA countertop adds a great deal of depth and width for my working space. I've got enough room to type or write without ever feeling cramped or restricted. When I needed to upgrade my chair, I knew I wanted a chair that focused on ergonomics rather than racing. I went with the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro, and no, I'm not sponsored by Autonomous. I got these items myself because I found great reviews on these items. Overall, a great chair with a decent back support and a cushioned seat. I chose the gray and white colorway to match my overall gray and white setup. Blood, sweat, and tears went into building this PC. Here are all the specs inside. Throughout the years, it slowly upgraded to this point where I believe it's in its final form. I know some of the parts are dated, but this rig gets the job done for me. The 1080 Ti is a beast even to this day. I'm still able to play AAA titles like Red Dead Redemption 2 on high settings with close to 60 FPS on a 3440 by 1440 monitor. Speaking of monitors, I run a dual monitor setup stacked on top of each other. The top one is an Acer Predator 27 inch 2450 by 1440 monitor. The one underneath is an Alienware ultra wide 34 inch 3440 by 1440 monitor. I always get comments, does your neck hurt having your monitors like that? And the answer is no. The top monitor is my extra retail space where I put on a movie or some YouTube when I'm playing a game or browsing the web. It's as easy as just slightly shifting my gaze or reclining my chair. I highly recommend if you're planning on upgrading your monitor, try and get an ultra wide. It just adds so much window space for productivity. It definitely makes editing videos easier and it makes playing first person games more immersive. To get that floating effect, the monitors are on two separate monitor arms the ultra wide is on a gas strut arm that allows a wide range of flexibility for when I want the screen a little closer or further back. The top monitor is attached to a 31 inch tall pole. It doesn't allow for as much movement as the lower arm, but it gets the job done. The current keyboard I'm using is the Microsoft Designer Compact Keyboard. I was a big mechanical keyboard fan, still am, but after testing this keyboard, I instantly couldn't stop using it. The sleek design and matte finish made typing on this keyboard an absolute dream. With it also being Bluetooth, I didn't have to worry about any cables, and it matches my overall desk aesthetic. Paired with that, I use a Logitech G305, my favorite mouse that I've ever used, and I've tried a good handful of them. It fits my hand and grip type perfectly. The matte finish is also a key feature in any peripheral that I get because of my moist phalanges. It also looks clean. No fancy lights or extravagant design, just a simple white color with minimal branding to pair with my white on gray color theme. These two items are sitting on this desk mat that I got from Amazon. It's nothing special. It's a synthetic leather with two key features that I have to mention. The minimal branding and the non-slip bottom. I think it's a premium mouse mat without paying the premium price. For my audio, I use these old Altec Lansing speakers. I've had these for maybe over 10 years now, and they're still packing a punch with their bass and treble knobs. It's a 2.1 setup with the subwoofer on the bottom. I like how these speakers take up very little space on my desk, but can still juke out some heavy tunes. I also have a fast wireless charger to charge my phone while I'm at my desk while also propping it up so I can see if I get any important notifications. I've also got a few toys on my desk that gives my setup a little personality. 
a completely white and gray setup can be somewhat boring, at least in my opinion. So to my right, I have this Lego Wally. How can you not like Wally? The little guy also brings some greenery to my setup with the little plant in his hand. To my right, I have a few bobbleheads and a single Funko. I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I had to incorporate something from the galaxy far, far away onto my setup. I also have this tiny analog clock that I got from Amazon. When I'm focused and heavy into my work, sometimes I forget what time it is. Despite there being a digital time on my PC, I needed an external clock to easily remind me it's time for bed or it's time to eat. Over here I have my Nintendo Switch. I barely get time to play with it, but when I do, you can find me playing Tetris against 100 other people. I pair my Switch with this 8-bit Doh SN30 Pro controller for that retro feel and look of the Super Nintendo. I also have this fidget toy. I didn't realize how much I needed one till I got one, but I keep this on my desk to fiddle around with when I'm reading documents or watching tutorials. It gives me that feeling that I'm doing something without actually doing anything. I always have some sort of beverage on my desk, especially coffee. So I have this Year of the Rooster coaster. You can take a guess at what year I'm born in. This cylinder thing here is my Oculamp lamp that I got from Amazon a while back. It gives off some nice ambient lighting. I have it set to a warm white color, or if I'm playing a game, I set it to RGB mode. Throughout my desk, I have three Philips Hue light bars. I have one just behind my monitor, another underneath my desk, and the last one on top of my PC tower. I think lighting can really liven up a desk setup. These light bars have so much functionality to them, but I primarily use them as ambient lighting when I'm working or as a nightlight after watching a horror flick. This is my setup for 2021. And honestly, I don't see it changing at all, but I'm proud to call it mine. I think it's a relatively clean and organized setup where I work, game and create with a hint of my own personality to it.